Hi everyone, this is Cindy and Fire Admin here to give you a quick video walkthrough of PowerDMS, the new software platform we will be using to access and update our policy manuals. To open PowerDMS, click on the Policy Docs SOP APM link on the right hand side of the Fire webpage on Everett Connect. PowerDMS uses single sign on, so you don't need to remember another username and password. Woohoo! The system will log into PowerDMS as whomever is signed on on the computer. The first time you log in, you'll be asked to verify your email address. When that message pops up, go ahead and just click Continue to Power DMS on the right corner, and it will open up to the Power DMS homepage. From the homepage, you will most often be accessing documents. Click on Documents, and you will see folders for our three main policy documents, the SOP, APM, and Respiratory Protection Program. There's also a folder for external documents that are referenced from within one of these other policy manuals. Click on a title to see the chapters in each manual, and then click a chapter to see the individual sections. Click a section to open it. The document will open to the current published version of this policy, and from here you will see basic information about this document on the right, along with the ability to sign off on the document, which we'll talk about later. If you've already signed off on the document, it will display the date of the sign off. You can click on the arrow here to minimize this window and click again to expand. You can also adjust the left hand menu to give you more or less room as needed. And click on the controls at the bottom right to resize the document. Click on the title for the ability to print or download this document. In the future, as policy changes are made, you will also have the option from here to compare the new version to the last version you signed off on. If there are certain policy sections you refer to often, you can bookmark them by either clicking on the icon on the right or next to the title in the left-hand menu. Sections that you bookmark can easily be accessed in the future by clicking on the bookmark icon on the left. To remove a bookmark, simply click on the minus sign. One of the best features in PowerDMS is the search function. By default, it searches all documents you have access to in the system, and it will search the entire document, not just the titles. For example, if I search for wildland, You will see the results return from the APM, the SOP, external documents, and the respiratory protection policy. If I wanted to narrow the search results to a specific manual or folder, I would do so by clicking on that folder and then doing the search. To get back to the list of full results, I would just click that X to remove that filter. If I wanted to look for all of the references in, say, just the SOP, I would do the same thing and just click on that folder instead. But note that you can see that it's here, but sometimes that box is small depending on how big or small you've made this window. But if I see that colored dot I know that there's a filter there. When in doubt, if you think that it's somewhere and you're not seeing the results and you think a filter might be applied, just go ahead and delete all the way to the left and it will take you back to the standard find anything box and you can start over. As policies are updated, they will be distributed to you electronically using PowerDMS. Major updates will continue to be announced through special order, but you will need to sign off on each section in PowerDMS as changes are made. There have been some modifications done when we imported the manuals into PowerDMS. The chiefs have been hard at work updating the formatting of our documents, initially focusing primarily on the SOPs. You will know which sections have changed by how the document is formatted. For example, here's the older format that you're used to from SharePoint. And here's a section with a new format, which contains a table at the top, 
standards referenced in this section and hyperlinks where available, and a revised numbering structure. For this initial round, major changes in operating procedures are highlighted in yellow. Future revisions, once the formatting update is complete, will not be highlighted, but rather reviewed using the Compare Changes tool in PowerDMS. This tool does not work well with a complete format overhaul like we are currently doing, as the entire document appears to be new content. Instructions will be provided at a later date on how to use that Compare Document tool. For now, you have a one-time option to sign off on all documents to accept the po policy manuals in their current state. That way, you don't have to accept all 237 documents individually. To do so, navigate back to the home page by clicking on the house icon in the top left. The to-do section will list all documents you need to sign off on. Click on 236 other documents to be taken to your inbox. This will list all the documents requiring your signature. You can also get to that same sign off section by clicking on inbox and documents from the top from any screen. Review your list and click on individual documents to open them up. In the future, you'll need to sign off on these documents in the list one at a time using the sign feature down here. But for your initial setup, you can just navigate back to your inbox and click on sign at the top of the list to accept all current policies. Please do so by December 31st. After signing, your history tab will keep track of when you signed off on specific policies and provide links back to those documents. That's it. We encourage you to log into PowerDMS regularly, although you may re periodically receive emails or target solutions assignments prompting you to log in if there are new policies you need to review. If you have any questions or issues, Val and I are the system administrators and would be happy to help. PowerDMS also has great online support through their success community, which is accessed through the help menu. Their basic user guide contains an overview of most of what we covered today. Thanks.